Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and I'm getting asked a lot, a lot of times on stream, about what's the best decks to play in standard and all that. And a lot of them are old decks, I'm not gonna lie. But if you wanna try some new stuff, I'm gonna highlight six decks that are relatively new, have mostly new cards, a lot of hero cards that you can try out. And I feel like you have a relatively good chance of getting legend in standard. Again, I'm not gonna recommend crafting anything yet. Um, this is if you have a lot of these cards, give it a try. But I still, it's way too early to recommend crafting anything. So this is at your own risk. And I just wanna thank everyone, by the way, we have had a ton of new subs the last like week or so, and we are closing in on 40,000. If we can get there by the end of the year, it would mean the world to me. We'll have a lot of cool stuff planned. I've mentioned it like a Nova video and some other stuff. I just, it means a lot to me. If I, you feel like I've earned your subscription, we hit that 40K, be the best holiday present I could ever get. So if you haven't hit that button yet, I would appreciate it. So let's get into it. Let's get into six new decks that you can realistically expect to hopefully get legend with. You never know the way Hearthstone works, but these decks have been proven to be good so far. So first we have a buff Paladin. This is all about buffing your stuff. And it's uh, basically you got Iron Deep Trog, which will appear in another deck as well, which you can play on one. And if your opponent doesn't have a removal for it, can snowball, you can buff it up, make it basically unkillable. It's really good against the decks that don't want to fight for board. But you also have, you know, Light Forge Carriel in there, the new hero card that buffs all minis in your hand. You have Stone Hearth Vindicator, brand new three drop that draws out a spell that you can play almost immediately. And of course you have Alliance Bannerman to hand buff and get everything going. Um, you have the new legendary in there, side in the Scarlet, which can get absolutely giant and out of control, especially if you hit it with a Blessing of Authority. Just a very powerful deck. I see a Mutinous in here, probably not standard, but you know, you wanna try and eat a combo piece from your opponent. They're doing something like that or just play a giant Mutinous. It can be effective and you have Varian in there for some card draw as well. There's a lot of new cards in this deck and it's performing very well at high High legend and I thought I would highlight it if you're looking for a more mid-range fun deck I haven't tried this one out yet myself but I probably will in a stream or two next we have a rogue deck that I took to legend I took this to legend on stream uh, I guess it'll be yesterday as you watch this today and I had a ton of fun with it burgle rogue burgle rogue burgle temple rogue it turns out maester of the masquerade is kind of a legit card now yes this deck worked really well I took a look from language hacker a current grand master and well, you have, like I said, Maester of the Masquerade, but the, the centerpiece of this deck, of course, is Double Agent. Um, if you have Masquerade up, you're another class, Double Agent, it's good to go. You can coin it out without having to play a Swashburglar or a, Redis, a Reconnaissance or anything like that. Uh, and also Wild Pawn Null will get discounted incredibly quickly. So you can do some ridiculous mana cheating early. And then you have Reconnaissance, which this card is low-key insane. I was not aware of how crazy this card would be. I faced an Owl OTK Warlock. I reconnaissanced a uh, Rattlegore. I coined it out on six. I then contraband stashed another Rattlegore and well, they were kind of screwed. They couldn't deal with two Rattlegores by turn seven. So really cool deck. Contraband stash is just insane for just a couple cards for five man. It feels ridiculous. And of course you have the hero card of Shadowcaster Scabs in the deck because why wouldn't you run Shadowcaster Scabs? This hero card is busted and probably one of the only safe crafts I actually can recommend. It just so good. This deck is so much fun. And we even have a Rust Rot Viper in there to try and ooze the Paladins, ooze the Warlocks so that they can't, you know, just stomp on our hopes and dreams. And it's coming clutch already. And at the worst, you're just trading it. And that's not too bad either. Really fun deck and very powerful. I think this is a, a legitimately good deck. And Burgle Rogue is a lot of fun to play. I'm having fun with it. Uh, next, we have a deck that's probably not that good, but I wanted to highlight it because... It looks fun. I've seen people hit legend with it. I've seen people do all right. I just can't imagine it's super powerful, but if you're looking to play some B Stalker Stavish, Death Rattle Hunter might be a good way to go. We have Trog in here again to try and counter the non-interactive spell deck. So like Druid, uh, and as well as Warlock or Mazaki Mage or whatever. And yeah, you got Bloodseeker, brand new weapon in there. You got the Rust Rot Vipers again to try and counter the Warlocks and Paladins. But the whole package is built around uh, Mountain Bear, which you could choose out with storm pike battle ram you bring it back with revive pet play jewel of nazoth and just continuously 
have bears, tons of bears. And you know me, I'm, I'm kind of all about the bear stuff. So really cool, fun deck. You can get more copies of them with um, Selective Breeder. I actually played a version of this with Lerox and King Crush that did okay day one, probably won't do well now. But uh, yeah, really fun. And of course you have Beast Stalkers Tavish, the new hero card, gets you some upgraded secrets. You get some huffers from your hero power, hopefully. And yeah, really fun deck. Probably not the highest I would recommend on here, but very solid nonetheless. Um, next, we have a deck that No Hands Gamer took to rank one legend, and that's Free Shaman. Free Shaman is pretty legit. It's not like the highest uh, rated deck on HS Replay, but it's doing well. And who doesn't want to try out some Free Shaman? And this is a, probably one of the better lists out there. Of course, probably the most powerful card in the deck and the card that I'm really getting sick of is uh, Snowfall Guardian, the card that freezes the entire board. It basically locks out any board-based deck. You play Snowfall Guardian, you play a Brilliant Macaw, you play a Brilliant Macaw, you play another Snowfall Guardian, and your opponent is left without anything to do. If they're a board-based deck, they can't play anything. And that's why you have Battleground Battlemaster in the deck so that if they can't deal with it and you have this giant Snowfall Guardian, you just kill them with the Wind Fury hit. And uh, yeah, if you're facing a board-based deck, this is absolutely powerful. And you have Devolving Missiles in there for those pesky Death Rattles. Wind Chill, just to cycle, very strong deck. All the new Freeze cards, for the most part, outside of that like six mana eight drop one are just super powerful. And of course you have the hero card of Brookhan of the Elements. Pretty powerful not amazing but is doing well and free shaman uh yeah it's pretty cool nonetheless i did it again i, I did it again it's still not sorry about it still not sorry about it next i will recommend this deck even though it's toxic it's horrible i, I hate it i want it to get nerfed already but it's a new deck and people want to try it i apologize for putting it on the video it's the Owl OTK Warlock. I know, I know, you can boo me all you want, but people like to play degenerate combos, and I gotta highlight it. So this is built around Humongous Owl. You have it die, you typically discount a Rune Mithril Rod. You'll typically want to kill it off so it doesn't get transformed or whatever. So you either, like, uh, Grimoire sacrifice it or kill it with a cheap spell, and then you fill a board with Wicked Shipment, play Timson's Phylactery, kill that off with, like, School Spirits, and you win the game with insane amount of damage. And you have Dreadlich Tamsin, which is just an insanely broken hero card. She is just ridiculous. She's so good that she has the highest mulligan win rate in the deck, even over Rune of Mithril Rod. Absolutely ridiculous hero card. Another probably pretty safe craft. So yes, I apologize for highlighting the deck, but I, I got to do it. And lastly, this deck I played last night on stream and it was ridiculous. I actually I think we went eight and two with it and I'm calling it Scam Tog Druid. You see it here. Yes, it's just got Drek'thar, it's got Trogs and it's got Guff. Guff might be meta. And basically what you want to do is play Drek'thar, have it cheat out Guff and a Trog, play a bunch of nature spells and your opponent cannot remove your board. It's almost impossible because your, your Trogs get big and how do you remove minions with spells and just get copies of it. And the part about this deck that's insane is you can tutor out Drek'thar very easily with Capture Cold Tooth Mine. So you play that, you play Drek'thar, you play a bunch of Lightning Blooms, and even with the, if you, let's say you have Drek'thar already and you have Gold Mine, you get the cheapest card in your deck, which is the Innervator Lightning Bloom, Bloom, which is free stats. So yes, um, this deck seems actually legit. I might play it some more. I've already climbed to like top 400 Legend with it, and I think it's legit against any spell-based deck, and even non-spell-based decks, you just play coin lightning bloom drekthar on turn two build a giant board your opponent can't do anything this actually might be problematic trog is probably very problematic we might have a video talking about some suggested nerfs already i think he's a little too good but this deck really highlights it and uh yeah i don't know if you want to go out of your way to craft guff for this you might want to do the injured blade master a mukla root i've seen people do but my goodness he is this deck's doing some work already so you might want to try that out and i looked at hs replay top meta stats for this deck it's tier two already and people are just kind of catching on to this deck so it might be pretty legit so there you go those are six decks you can try out if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and again if you have any deck suggestions you want to leave in the comments for people to try out feel free that's awesome we love to share the ideas have a great day stay salty my friends